need to get the original dash cam. Word. I might one day. Hey, let's go turn Squish Squash back again. We're uh, making a drive through run to McDonald's, and then we're going to Arby's to eat because I don't want fucking McDonald's. Food. McDonald's is gross. You're McDonald's gross. rocks. Yeah, they fucking put rocks in the food. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> chicken eats rocks. <laughs> the chicken grind its food. Yeah. That's why they have gizzards. <laughs> I hope that's gonna stay there. Just, just, yeah, as soon as you pull up. No, I'm not gonna, gonna fucking. Be I'm, I'm not gonna ramp it. You know. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have you too. Thank you. Ooh, McDonald's for you. <clears throat> oh, French fries. Oh, Guardian. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could remember that fucking story. Jesus. I can't remember the fucking story. The woman, it was fucking at Wendy's. The woman pissed me off so fucking bad. She was not listening to a damn word I said. I wish the pet coat was open so I could get some <coughs> nausea medicine for my fucking cat. What's a pet coat? Oh, the pet coat. <laughs> like, what's a pet coat? Yeah, okay, it's gonna stay right there. Sorry, good. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Bad boys. Buddies. Damn, what the fuck was. What the. What happened? What did. What did that fucking woman at Wendy's do that fucking drove me fucking batshit crazy? I cannot remember. I have to ask my coworkers so I can tell that story on camera. That fucking shit was so damn funny. Everyone was laughing but me and the fucking woman on the other end of that fucking intercom. <laughs> she. I don't know. I fucking. Ugh. She must have been like stupid or something. Dude, what are you doing? Scarf and cheeseburgers. Calm the fuck down. You can eat in Arby's. I feel really weird bringing this in Arby's. Dude, I do that all the time. When somebody's like, hey, I want to go here, and I'm like, uh, I don't really like there. I'll get something from somewhere else and bring it in there. I'll tell you, it's totally cool. As long, like I said, as long as someone is bringing, as, some, as long as somebody's ordering something, you're a customer. It's kind of like that whole, you know, you can't park your car here, but if you go in there and buy something first, you know, they're, they're fucked. You know, you're a paying customer. You can leave your cars there as long as you want to. It's like Walmart. How many people do you think fucking really are in there shopping their cars out here? Most people don't even know why they're in there and they're on so much damn crack that's done. Yeah. Remember that guy that was in there that one night that fucking ate that whole cake? The cops came looking for him. Getting rid of that dude. There was a bitch went in there one night and got all sorts of damn donuts and pastries and shit and walked around and ate every fucking bit of that shit. Damn. While she was shopping? Did she steal it or did she buy it and then eat it? No, she just ate it and then. Ugh. Left. She ate a lot of shit. <laughs> I thought fucking crank made you not want to fucking eat. Oh, I, 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 I got it. Work the cops never went on crank, man. Maybe she was on fucking stacker too. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, it must have been laced with weed because that bitch had the munches. <laughs> Lace something with weed. Look, there's police down here. We're all safe and shit. That's four cops. I might cars. me for this contraband Nick D's. <laughs> God damn, the whole unit here. That's not the whole unit, it's the whole squad! Squad! <laughs> well, we gotta stop now. Because I got a headlight up. I don't want to get fucking arrested. I can turn my lights off. <laughs> sure you don't want to win? You got the drop there? I don't know. I got the drop there, you don't win. I'm telling you, you can eat that shit in there, I'm telling you. Bring it all in there. Or you don't want to, you don't feel comfortable? It's a problem. I can go in there, I go. Bring your McDonald's. I'll walk in first. Alright, this is Skull Tower and Squish Cross signing off. We'll be back later. Recording now. Man! <coughs> uh, this is Skull Tower and Squish Cross back at you again. Skull Tower thinks that the police are going to arrest us because we got the uh, got the camera on the dashboard. They're going to beat us down and shoot us. Man, this is Jasper City Police Department. They fucking. Parasite, please, bro. You dorkus, you mungus. <laughs> Somebody's you got like... a camera on the cops, and we always get shot. <laughs> well, we didn't get shot, did we? <laughs> we didn't name we're, we're turning on the highway. Then we're making a left turn. Oh, here they come. They're coming for us, dude. Shit. No, I'm, I'm fucking with you. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Hope the camera fucking holds, holds, holds firm, hold firm. Wow. Yeah, nigga, what now? Oh, I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, this is getting for personal use, too. Mm, I'll see, just, just hang around. Why is this flag a half mast? Something happened to Donald about. I don't know. Ugh. They're 
they're just, it's a preemptive move because they think they're going to raise the Trump flag here in the Word. You know, they've been talking, you know, the Republicans don't want him to get it neither. Uh, oh, no, I know. He's made a fucking complete ass out of himself saying stupid shit. So now they're like, oh, God, <laughs> what have we done? You ever well, what I don't get, though, man, they're talking on the radio a lot. Even if he gets enough votes to fucking get the nominee, yep. that the Republicans can just have his broker convention and basically say, uh, nah, Trump's not it. We're going to say Mitt Romney is going to be our candidate. Yeah, sure can. How the fuck can they do that? What's the point of voting? Well, because if, they, if you it, vote for somebody they don't it's, like, they it's can to just keep, put somebody else in there. It's to keep people from like sabotaging the party, like basically. So it's, it's like you know, if it turned out that you know they, they, they you know, say there was a guy going, to, you know, going for Republican, then it turned out he was actually a Democrat and he was just doing it to, to screw the whole Republican Party out of the nomination, you know, or shit. Then you know they can like vote him and you know pick somebody else. This doesn't seem right to me. Eh. Well, here, here, well, think about it this way. I mean, even if you did get the nomination, whoever got the nomination, your vote's not going to count anyway in the presidential race because the electoral college is who decides the president. Yeah. And they don't have to vote. Uh, they don't have to vote based on how you know what their state you know votes for. Right. I think there's been there's been four or six. I can't remember which which one. Four or six um, uh, presidential camp, uh, elections where the winner did not win the popular vote. So yeah. I think one was like fucking like five hundred thousand votes they lost by, but they still yeah, won. I, I know the electoral college thing. Yeah. So, ah, you know what? I got a joke for you. Steady. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, breaking does make it move. I got a joke for you. Why did I cross the road? To show the possum it could be done. No. Why? It's none of your business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got the greatest not not joke in the world too. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Say not not. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. Ah, I got you. <laughs> Why is this light red? <coughs> what fucking time? He's a genius. Did you call it Jew? What? Genius. Oh, I said Jewish. Let's make Basically these people the stop even though there's nobody around. I know, right? Was that picture of Keanu Reeves when you need him? It's like, maybe the light is sentientially fucking this fucking auto zone. A.K.A. home of the most stupid employees ever. Yeah, well, they hooked me up the other day. What? Testing my battery. Well, they could have hooked me up by just not fucking being stupid. Oh, was that where you went, AutoZone? Yeah. Did I tell you about the fucking me going there? Uh -huh. The fucking idiots. Oh, God. All right, look. <clears throat> Taco Smith. I told you. <laughs> Is it a micro? It's a Taco Cell. <laughs> um... Those fucking idiots. Um, I, okay, I, I, I went up there. I got my truck has two bulbs on each side, right? One for right, one for down. <clears throat> so I went up there and asked them, you know, what you know bulb do I need? So they showed me. I bought two two boxes of them. Each box came with a bright and a dim bulb. Um, got them, got home with them. You know, didn't put them out there that day. And fuck, fuck, you know, better things to do. Oh no! What it was was I was on my way to band practice, and I thought, well, I'll just I'll just put them up there when I get there at Wayne's house because I'll be there. I'll get there early, so you know, it's something to do. So I get over there, put the driver's side in, fine. Dim and bulb, right? But I put the passenger side in. The dim bulb goes in, or the bright bulb goes in, but the dim one won't. <laughs> Can't figure out why. Made sure I didn't have the wrong, you know, bulb, you know, because obviously they, they won't fit. I guess they're like molded a certain way where they only go in the, the appropriate slots. You know, put the, right. you know. Doesn't make your the front of your car look. It's got the lazy eye in the middle of the night. <laughs> so I I looked and then I went back and got the other the other uh, the other bright bulb, uh, dim bulb out of my the left hand side. The molding on the one that won't go is deformed. That's why it won't fit. Huh? It's not that I'm doing anything wrong. It's just that it was it was it was a fucking factory error or some shit, and it's it's not going to work. So I called the fucking Home Depot and told me you know, the situation Home is Depot. on. Home Depot. Or fucking, what did I say? Oh, fucking AutoZone. Oh, unless I have something against Home Depot too. It must be 
to be repressed. But anyway, um, called the fucking AutoZone. And this fucking idiot is talking to me like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. He's like, well, you're probably just inserting it wrong. I'm like, no, son of a bitch, I'm doing it exactly how it's, you get fucking, I've had this truck, you know, fucking 10 years. I'm, I'm not changing the bulb wrong, you idiot. So he's like, oh, no, 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 you're just fucking, you're just probably inserting it wrong or have the wrong bulb. I said, look, dude, I'm on my way there. Are you going to be there when I get there? He's like, oh, I'll get off at five. I'm like, well, you need to fucking hang around because I want you to show me that I'm not doing this right. I don't know, I don't know, just fucking, you know, douchebag McGrath or whatever. So <clears throat> I get there and there's some other lady there, aka bitch, because this fucking hoe didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. Coming there, I, you know, I knew there was going to be a fucking problem already going there because this is not the first time I've had problems with those people that work that place. Like, I think, you know, instead of you know, a requirement, a, you know, educational requirement being having a GED or diploma for high school, it's like, you can't have either of those. <laughs> like, I want the least, most, least easily educated people, like, possible. Anyway, <clears throat> going there, I decide I'm not taking any chances, I'm not fucking risking this shit. I just snatch the whole damn light fixture, you know, housing out of my truck and just bring it in there with me. And I'm like, this bulb will not fit this headlight because... The molding on it is is wrong. It's deformed. I'll tell them for reference. She goes, "Nah, that don't happen." <laughs> you, mm, it don't happen, does it? Okay. She, so she, I said, "Well, here, you put this in there for me." You know what she does? She tries to wedge it in there and then turns around and gives me a fucking that mm -hmm. smirk like Monique would do. Yeah. Uh-uh, bitch. Uh, I touched it and it fell out. I'm like, you consider that to be fucking properly mounted. I was like, I need to talk to a manager. She's like, I am a manager. I was like, no, you're fucking stupid. And I walked out. <laughs> well, not before I returned that crap. That was a problem, too. They did not want me to return it. You had a different set. They're like, no, we can't return it. I was like, you're going to take it back. You goddamn cunt. You're going to fucking like it, too. You're going to fucking sniff my gooch while you're in it. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I had to put a tail light in my car the other day. Mm, the tail light. That shit is, man... Fucking Toyota got their shit together. Did they? Yeah, you know, most of the time you have to take the whole fucking thing off. <clears throat> yeah. And they can dang on the wires and change it that way. Oh, yeah, it's pain in the ass, right? No, uh, Toyota, man, they got a fucking flap on the other side. You just open that flap up, boom, it's right there. Really? Yeah. So simple. On the inside of the trunk. I got yeah. a fucking unscrewed screws to get my fucking tail lights well, and my helmet back. Yeah, I usually do. Why? Why can't everybody use their damn brain like that? Just not everybody has brain, I don't think. Trying to make your thing where you have to pay somebody to work on this shit. I don't care how nice you are. You're stupid. I don't, you're, you're stupid. I mean, you didn't. What? Pay, pay somebody what? What you say? I said they're wanting you to have to pay somebody to work on everything now. They make it so damn complicated. You I know. Have, to have all these special tools and shit. Mm hmm. Show them. It's like dealing with the fucking internet people. You see that? They're like, I don't fuck him. They they could remotely check that. They should know that there was a problem wrong with your internet. Exactly. They fucking could figure that shit out. That's like the bank. Okay, back when I when I when I first took took out the loan to pay for my place. Okay, I had to pay them. They, they wanted to refinance like every twelve months. No, it was every six months they wanted to refinance. Right. I had to let them know that it was time for me to fuck to re-sign papers so I could continue paying for that loan. Like, and so one time I let it go and they notified me, told me that I was like in some kind of breach or some shit. I'm like, no, motherfucker, you know as well as I do when that paperwork's up. You know, I shouldn't have to call you to tell you to send me the papers so that I can pay you money. You should already fucking know that and already have that shit in the fucking mail, you know? Like, it's all your little fucking computer system, you fucking goddamn Herman the Munster looking motherfucker working behind the desk with your little <laughs> fucking plaid shirt or a uh, fucking jacket with the damn. Well, they cut the sleeves out. They put the leather. Is that what they do? I don't know. They look retarded. Yeah, it's fucking. I use that word. I use the R word. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're not PC. Sorry. I don't care. PCP. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. Like they just. I don't know. It's like uh, it's like humans get together with other humans and they're like, how can we make this shit ugly. as yeah ugly as possible? Like let's make this the biggest. Uh, Let's make this so much of a pain in the ass that people would rather stick something in their ass. I guess it'd be handy if you had to crawl under a lot of bob wire or some shit. What would? Big old leather ass patches. Oh. So you can fucking dig in with your elbow and <laughs> fuck your suit up. <laughs> the rest of the suit's like plaid fabric though, it would get ruined. 
at least you have uh, you wouldn't have holes in your elbow. I saw an episode of The Simpsons where Homer did that. He was a, he a substitute teacher, and he had did the reverse. He took the leather jacket, and he got the sleeves out, or he cut the elbows <laughs> out, and he put the plaid ones in there. And Marge was like, oh, Homer, you ruined two perfectly good jackets. No, he didn't, bitch. He could still stick the the plaid sleeves in there with the fucking, with the other one. I mean, you know, he didn't ruin anything. <clears throat> he came up with a jacket most people already fucking made, and then, 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 then on top of that, he came up with something completely original. <clears throat> we ought to like call this segment of the show like when we're not playing video games uh, like Dark Road Tales or something like that. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Darkwing Duck though. Yeah, we might see some fucked up shit. Darkwing Duck! There's fucked up shit right there. A church. Oh, sorry about that to our religious viewers, but I don't care because y'all are fucking crazy. You know, I'm different than the fucking people down in fucking that middle, you know, the Congo. Worse than a rock. Terry saw, Terry saw it and said the guy at work was talking about that one time. He was making, he was making fun of the people on National Geographic or Worse Than the Sun. He was like, you see how primitive the people are? And Terry was like, dude, the guy was a Christian. He was like, dude, that's what you look like to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We were not going to get on that time. you can see the sun. <laughs> burn. Like sunburn. Get it? Out. <laughs> yeah, we better not go on that topic or I'm going to get really mad and pissed off and shit. Did I tell you about the sign on my road? Yeah, I've seen it. The yeah. Sasquatch crossing. Bigfoot. Bigfoot crossing. So I put up a sign on my road right below my house that says, Caution Bigfoot crossing. Rocky, <laughs> Rocky t- uh, sent me a message on Facebook. He said, I put it up to warn people about your nasty ass. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, wow. Somebody probably seen you drunk out flopping around the yard. <laughs> Flop, what know. am I, fish? What? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no fish. Oh, this is fun. This is technically blogging what we're doing, I think. Vlogging. Blogging. Or is it vlogging? Vlogging. Oh, I'm sorry. Video you you crank it one more time, you're going to get a flogging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this gizmo would say, What is that? Duncan Road. No, that. <laughs> Duncan Road. Missed. Oh my god, you know what I need to tell? I need to tell the fucking pizza story. Like right <laughs> fucking now while I'm thinking about it, and I'm mad and in a mood. Okay, let's see. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there's this Texaco that I frequent. I guess it's okay to say the name of the business, right? They don't know which one it is. Is that yeah, a franchise? Or is it? Uh, Texaco is a franchise of gas, I guess. But is it? Like, can people get a Texaco? Texaco station. There's nothing against Texaco. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I might go to other Texaco stations. As a matter of fact, the one by the hospital, I love them. Every 20 ounce drink they have there is 99 cents. Oh, yeah. Everywhere else, like $1.79. So go fuck yourself. Don't tell me it's fucking Pepsi and Coke making the prices. They don't make the prices. The store across the street is fucking more expensive. Anyway. So, this is Texaco that I used to, used to frequent. I say that because I'm not going to fucking patronize their store anymore. Um, just, you know, run, run the middle Texaco, you know, a little gas station. You got, you know, the basics, you know, the, the chips, the drinks, the overpriced stuff that, you know, you can get at Walmart for a dollar. Uh, who, who needs carpet cleaner at a gas station? Like, who runs through the gas stations? I need carpet cleaner and a can of chili. Like, yeah, you're going to spend some big bucks on the carpet cleaner at the Texaco. Uh, it's like $6 for a can of chili there. I mean, fuck. Uh, how far it look. But anyway, <clears throat> so I go there and I pass by there one day. I was like, I go in there and um, the, the girl behind the counter is I'm paying for my, my drinks and my snacks. I'm going, going to band practice and uh, she hands me this little flyer. I'm like, what is this? And she's like, oh, we're having a deal on pizza. I'm like, pizza? You started selling pizza? She's like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're having a special. Uh, 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 today's the last day. So I was like, okay, what is it? And she handed me the thing and it was it was two two liter drinks and two pet uh, two pizzas for nineteen ninety nine. Now Damn now the fuck what are you damning about? Well, you, I, I know what you got. You know what I got? Yeah. What do I got? Uh, you know, it'll ruin your story. It'll ruin my story. Yeah, well, go ahead and tell oh. everybody what you got. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Oh okay. You just went damn okay, I was like, all right. Well anyway I kind of figured that this place was selling Hunts Brothers pizzas because the Texaco that's a couple miles away 
uh, sells Hunt Brothers pizzas, which are really good pizzas. They get all the stuff in there, for, I guess, frozen, and they cook it. But the, the point is, it's great pizza. <clears throat> and it's, it's just like it, you know, anywhere else, like Pizza Hut or anything, but it's just, you know, frozen and they unthaw it. Really but still, it's delicious. Better than any store bought pizza ever. Period. Exclamation point on that. Anywho, so I'm like, oh, cool, that sounds cool. I might, uh, might uh, dip into that later, you know, because uh, I don't have anything at the house to eat. I don't feel like going grocery shopping after bad practice. So I go to practice, uh, get ready to leave, and uh, I think, you know what, I should call in and order, order that stuff. You know, it's a pretty good deal, you know, because. Normally those pizzas are, you know, like 11, 12 bucks. It other takes go for one of those Huntsville pizzas. So I'm thinking yeah. two of those and two two-liter drinks. That's four liters of drink. <laughs> and two pizzas. That's a lot of drink. <clears throat> it's like a pizza sandwich. But anyway, I'm thinking 19.99. That's not a bad fucking deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking get into on that action. So I call them and they tell me when I'm like, you know, I'm I want to order the two pizzas and two drink things. And they're like, okay, do you want pepperoni cheese? Uh, meat lovers or supreme. And right there, that should have been a red flag. How come I don't get to pick my own toppings? Like, maybe it's a special, you know? Man. I don't fucking know. I don't care. So I'm like, uh, give me one meat lover and one supreme. I'm thinking, bam, we got, poop. we got food for the next couple of days, right? So I get there. Don't fucking open the box because, you know, I trust Texaco. You know, I, they have no, they've never betrayed me before. Long than now. So, I goddamn get home and open the box and something's amiss. <laughs> Something that's out of place here. This doesn't seem right. This pizza does not look like a Hunt Brothers pizza at all. This Meat Lovers pizza. No, 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 no. But, whatever. I digress. But, so I can't shake the feeling there's something familiar about this kind of pizza. Take a bite out of it. It's fucking DiGiorno pizza. It's <laughs> goddamn it's a store-bought DiGiorno fucking pizza that's like $7. Five something. Is it five something? Oh, I get ripped off even more. Oh, man. But it just fucking sticks something up my ass. I bring my asshole clean. So yeah, I go and open the Supreme. As soon as I look in the box of the Supreme, it, there's no doubt. It's, this is DiGiorno pizza. I hump those fucking pizzas out in the front yard for the dogs. <laughs> and you know what? Those pizzas were not good enough for the dogs. I'm so fucking mad that I fucking, I fucking posted about it on Facebook. You know, if that text code. That's mad. That is fucking mad. If you're <laughs> mad enough to blog, you're fucking pissed. But anyway. Looks like our battery's about to die on our but uh, what was you going to say? Oh, yeah, what's the road you call that the, 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 the Texaco's on now? Yeah, that road is now known as DiGiorno Way. DiGiorno Way. <laughs> but, and I found out on the radio that he probably saved his butthole because they were recalling DiGiorno pizzas because they potentially have glass in them. No, no, no. The problem is that there's, there's not that there's glass in the pizza, there's, that there's pizza in the glass. <laughs> DiGiorno pizza. That's the problem. If you put broken glass and semen and, and chemical waste on the Punk Bros pizza, I would fucking lick that stuff off first, then eat the pizza. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, I guess we'll be back with more, more dark road tales uh, another night because uh, our battery's about to fucking die because we recorded the game video earlier. But anyway, this is uh, Skulltar and Squishquash signing off. See ya. Bye.